remember the combustion chamber is the area created uh, for uh, the head and uh, the piston. Remember that uh, the majority of the diesel engines, the head is flat. The head is flat with the valves on the head. However, the pocket for the combustion chamber is created in between the head and the piston because the pocket is located on the piston. The piston that you have on the screen right now, in, in that pocket is created basically the volume of the combustion chamber. In diesel engines, the combustion is initiated when the fuel enters in the combustion chamber at the end of the compression stroke. It's just at the end, some degrees before. It's around in between four and six degrees before top depth center, the injector open and inject the fuel. How is possible that uh, the injector open at that specific moment? Yeah, this is the timing. And uh, we are going to talk later how is the procedure to put the engine on time in order to be 100% sure that the, the injectors open exactly in the moment required for the manufacture. Uh, in diesel engines, uh, the fuel entering in the fuel injection pump, only 20% of that fuel is used, is used to, to enter in the combustion chamber and produce power. The rest, 80% of the fuel, return to the tank. All the, all the injectors, they have one input in one of the sides and one return on top. Okay, the fuel entering, only 20% enter in the combustion chamber, and 80% of the fuel with high, high temperature return into the tank. What happened with the fuel tank in your boat after one hour of operation? Probably the fuel tank is too hot. For that reason, the fuel return into the engine and pass through the fuel cooler before the fuel enter again into the fuel injection pump. All right? The appropriate, the appropriate ratio, air and fuel, for gasoline engines is 15 parts of air per one part of fuel. 15 air and one fuel. If that proportion is 15 to one, the gasoline engine is running in, in good conditions, in good, in good operational conditions, good temperature, good pressure, and good performance in gasoline. In diesel, in diesel, that stoichiometric ratio have two most variations. And uh, the less stoichiometric ratio is uh, around 18 to one, and goes until 160 to one, more than 70. It's uh, 70 to one, no, it's going until 160 to one when the engine is turbocharger or supercharged. In order to understand easily piston displacement, we are going to refresh our concept of geometry. And uh, we are going to refresh how to calculate the value of a cylinder. The value of a cylinder is basically the, the base area times the high. Is the base area times the high. Ah, okay, in our particular case, the base area is the, the area of uh, the piston head and the high is the struck. How much is the area of the head of the piston? Okay, the area of the head of the piston is pi times the radius square and times the high. The high is the struck. This is piston displacement. This is piston displacement. I have an example. You have uh, this example in your book. Uh, we are going to calculate the engine displacement for uh, the famous, the typical 427 uh, VA Chevy. And uh, we have uh, some measurements. Uh, we know the, the bore, the bore is 4.312 inches. And uh, we know the stroke uh, is 3.65. And uh, we are going to calculate the engine displacement. All right, in this particular ca uh, case, uh, we are going to calculate the engine displacement for a VA engine. Uh, we know the bore, we know the stroke, and uh, the formula said that the, the engine displacement is equal to pi times uh, the bore square 
divided by 4 times the stroke and times the number of cylinders. Uh, in this example, the engine displacement is 426.3 and uh, you can approximate to 427 and uh, this is the famous 427 cubic inches. We are going to talk about volumetric efficiency. Volumetric e efficiency. Uh, what is the meaning of volumetric efficiency? It's the actual volume of air divided by the theoretical theoretical volume of air. Ah, in other words, the volumetric efficiency is the actual, the real engine displacement divided by the theoretical engine displacement. Ah, oh, the theoretical engine displacement of this engine is 5 liters. Uh, but really, 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 today, only, only, I have 4.7. Ah, the volumetric efficiency is 4.7 divided by 5 uh, uh, times 100. This is the volumetric efficiency. 